Hi, and welcome to another episode of Dog Talk with Pack Leader, and today we're going to talk about making excuses for our dogs, especially for our dogs' behaviors. A lot of times I see clients that have a story to tell about their dog, and that's not the dog's story, that's their history, but that's not their reality. The reality is that they live in the moment, they don't live in the past. Humans live in the past. And that's a lot of the reason why a lot of dogs have the behavior problems they do is because people make excuses for the dog's behavior because they were abused or they were a rescue or they had a hard life or they had a great life. Whatever the case is, that's an excuse. That's not the reason for behavior. The reason for behavior is mostly because there are no rules in the dog's current life. The rules are that you're calm, that you're social, that you don't lash out at either people or dogs. And a lot of times I also hear the same thing, well, my dog doesn't like, and then fill in the blank. White people, black people, Asians, people with red hats, people with hats, people with beards, people that are men, people that are women, other dogs, big dogs, small dogs, medium dogs, multiple dogs, it's all the same. It's an excuse. Because your dog needs to follow you and your leadership. And if your rules are that it's okay to do that, then that's why your dog does that. A very simple fix to that is create rules and then be consistent with enforcing that. You want a dog that's in a calm state of mind. You don't want a dog that is uh, going to decide to make the rules on their own and then we just follow them. That's when things go wrong. Dogs aren't really designed to make decisions in our world. They make decisions in their world. And their decisions and their rules are based on instinct and other dogs and dog psychology. We generally don't involve ourselves with dog psychology and we certainly don't involve ourselves with instinct. We have that part of us, we just don't use it very often. We do use emotions a lot and so therefore the rescue dog or the dog that you got at the pound or at the shelter or found as a stray has a backstory to it. The real story and the real love comes from you right now, not in the past. And it's a very rare occasion, especially in my experience, that the dog's past history becomes their reality. I don't deal with that and I don't really even care about what their story is. It's interesting from a human perspective it's not interesting or necessary from a dog's perspective. So create rules, be consistent, but don't make excuses for your dog. In a lot of ways, that's making excuses for yourself and not being able to control states of mind, either yours or your dog. So control your state of mind. Your dog's state of mind will be controlled. Everybody will be happier and healthier for it. Have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, and we will talk to you later on. Once again, there is my blog at wwwcampk 9 that's K-9, J-A-X-B-C-H.com, campk9jackspeech.com, where there is lots of information about being a pack leader, about the things that you might encounter with your dog, and the recent post, which this was only part of, was the five steps it takes to be a pack leader. Take a look at it, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm more than happy to answer any questions from anybody, anytime. Have a good one, and this is Greg, and this has been Dog Talk with Pack Leader.